hello gemini welcome to the new moon in aquarius and your intuitive moon message let's get into the vibes so doing your pre-shuffle the first thing i heard was why so serious which feels new to me for you but i feel curiosity may have you by the coattails in some way, shape, form, or fashion right now. A coming together of sorts after a ending of some sort, whether it was an ending of a relationship, a way of being, a way of operating, um, a thought process, maybe a belief. But yeah, it's time for you to take the lead at the time of this Aquarius new moon somewhere somehow in your life I feel the 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 moves that spirit is asking you to make right now are all deriving from a place of um unactualized potential I feel you have a level of potential a very a level of potential that you are ready to um embrace embrace i don't know what i was mixing that word with yeah i was hearing another word say it both of them at one time <sighs> embrace because you have a high expectation of yourself if these are these expectations being real and attainable, yes. But I feel like there are some beliefs about you that just simply aren't true. Um, and whether they are about you or your perspective on how life is, how things are supposed to be, and how this is just supposed to go, I think you're undergoing a refresher course in that because there are some limitations there, which makes it hard for your actualized potential to be integrated if you are seeing yourself more limited than what God is especially in comparison to the level of expectation that you know deep and down that you came here to embody so mm, why so serious why so hard on yourself you know like Aquarius new moon is here to liberate you and to give you a level of understanding and Pluto was assisting with really just shutting all that other shit down shutting all that little talk that small talk that but what if that and but what if this but what if that and I can't get all those limiting beliefs all those limitations that you put yourself under and that and that you literally grab for the box yourself in Aquarius is like fuck out of here and Pluto was like yeah what he said and really is kicking ass and they kicking ass and taking names and taking no prisoners and so yeah we have step out of your comfort zone and have faith in your dreams all would take the lead hello somebody thank you spirit thank you moon mama for confirming this because it's giving like you want to give what need to be gave so bad but within the confinements of your heart mind and spirit and the limits that you place on yourself it's kind of difficult to get there from where you're trying to get there from so what do you need to understand understand unlearn and relearn relearn so that you can create space and um accept and release for your ability to integrate and receive this new insight information and understanding of what really is going on i feel like you're finally in a place where you want a deeper understanding of life like there has to be more than this and if you aren't questioning the overall scheme of what this life this thing called life is then you're definitely nose deep into some occult energy um some knowledge for self right now and you're about to transcend where you are and be closer to where you need to be with the integration of this information so continue to ask your higher self 
Don't do this in a way where you're beating up on yourself like, damn, what's going on? Or from a place of lack or even um, grief. Because you could be grieving. I feel like some of you, someone may have experienced someone cross over or just be dealing with grieving being their way to enlightenment right now, which isn't as difficult as a love uh, as other ways of suffering but um if that if that's what is your driving force at this time let it be from a place of openness and relationship with whoever is crossed over at this time just look at it as a continuation of your relationship Okay, look at it as a, uh, we're not bound by flesh, we're not bound by time, we're not bound by those same um, constructs now. Be open to receive their love even still, you know? Um, and again, this is a general message, it's not for everybody. My name is Raven, if it's your first time here. Hello, thank you for viewing. And if you like how I channel my messages, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. And if you are returning, oh, excuse me, gang, what's good? But Gemini, I, I just want you to be receptive. Be receptive and don't, don't bring an energy of worry to this, okay? There's nothing for you to worry about. This is all, uh, this is a new ball game here. You're not, you're not up against judgment. There's nothing to fight against or fight for or worry about or force in this new space-time reality that you're stepping into. This is really all about taking the lead in your life from a God mind, from the God mind, from the higher self, and experiencing life for real in a way that, goes beyond the physical experience and into the supernatural okay so and when you understand that you are supernatural that being a human is like one of the most amazing experiences ever because you really came here to remember your soul as you experience having a physical vessel understanding that you know this is just a little spirituality 101 like this is just a flesh suit your eternal essence existed way, 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 way before now. And the body that you are in right now is literally your car for earth. So if you are dealing with um, some, some souls close to you no longer having this vessel and are connecting with them from an eternal space of existence, know that you, you too are light just like they are and... That transition is something we all have in common. We all gonna have we all gonna have it in common. Just that when you transition, you wanna remember. You know what I mean? You you want to have lived the best life that you could here and do, do so in a way to where you have set your soul free and evolved to the state of conscious awareness, okay? So hope that wasn't too much. <laughs> I don't think it was. But more than anything, right now, this Aquarius new moon, have faith in your dreams. There is more for you. And there is another life waiting. Uh, there's another life experience waiting to be seen as worthy of by you. Okay, make it real. It wants to be made real. It wants to be made manifest. But it's going to require you to take the lead and get out of your comfort zone and really trust so we had some energy hitting the floor so yeah your lack right mindset okay breaking that cycle again double gemini energy okay whatever you have been regretting um feeling remorseful about um, I wish you could. I wish I could have did more. I wish I could have said more. I wish I could have did, did, did that. That type of energy. Um, it's time for you to forgive yourself and understand everything happened how it needed to happen when it needed to happen to who it was supposed to happen to into the divine order of all things. Um, God really doesn't make no mistakes, 
and you could be feeling remorseful or just in this place of regretting thinking that you could have done more said more been there more or maybe you're wishing you understood this sooner so now that these types of transitions are happening around you you wouldn't be living with regrets wishing and hoping that you had more time to experience more or do more that type of thing it puts you up against yourself a lot you beat yourself up a lot with that type of mindset so i feel the lack energy within this right now from this perspective from this collective that i'm uh, connecting to right now um that the lack mindset is like this worry thing and i almost feel like it was it's possibly intergenerational this is something that was passed down to you um just your level of assertiveness is something that you haven't had much practice in and i feel like you've thrown you've been thrown into very powerful positions connections and um places and some way somehow you, you don't feel like you deserve to be there or you just battle a lot with who you used to be before now and who you are wanting to be now okay um this is shadow work your shadow boxing you're up against the version of yourself that i feel you know is operating in its place of resent, resentment and lack because it's just this cyclical intergenerational thing. I think consciously you don't even know why. Because when you are conscious and you are happy and you actually organize your money, you organize your thoughts, you organize your life, you get confidence there. You thrive in clarity. But some way, somehow, you choose this pattern of remorse and worry. And I think it's only because it feels familiar and you might have too much idle time. Okay? And when you have an idle mind and idle time, you are under attack by a lot of lower vibrational thoughts and spiraling. Okay? We tend to spiral when we have an idle mind. You know, they say an idle mind is the devil's program playground. If you believe in that rhetoric or if you have that belief, you know what I mean? So get a get a clear uh, understanding. Ask your higher self for um, un the understanding you need right now in regards to what you believe you are capable of doing and what you are worthy of achieving. Because there is a life ready to be lived in exercise and experience through you. And it's time for you to have faith in it. It's to have faith in yourself and to really transmute this lack mindset energy. Um, this is, again, cyclical. I feel this is something that was passed down to you intergenerationally. If you're going to be the chain breaker, then get into some, some rooms, get into some conversation, watch some. We, we are in the age of technology information. Watch some YouTubes, gain confidence and understanding so you feel confident in these things. Um, get an accountability partner, position yourself in some type of um, group setting, get a hobby, do things to where this energy isn't something that you keep making an excuse for because you have the power to control it. You have the power to ascend into a new level uh, step into you know step into new levels of authority and overstanding within yourself so period and i said what needed to be said so don't be don't be afraid just don't be afraid there's nothing to fear and even if you do fear it do it scared anyway. Be open to under new levels of inside information. Be open to, you feel what I'm saying? It's, it's time for you to be flexible and faithful, okay? You got two Fs. I'm flexible and I'm faithful, okay? And I am fearless, okay? I am flexible, I am faith-filled, and I am fearless, okay? I am flexible, I am faith-filled, and I am fearless, okay? Because taking the lead on your life right now, Gemini, is going to position you in higher places and i feel like that's what you want whether it's to be appreciated and seen by um the individuals whom you whom you are here to serve um breath work came out in your um 
pre-shuffle and it just came out again. So working out, great for you. Running, um, all of that, great for you. But if you want to get into some breath work, maybe you have anxiety. Maybe you have social anxiety. Breath work. EFT tapping is something that I've been doing to regulate my nervous system. So look into EFT tapping. Follow my other page, Regulate with Raven. I'm really going to be working on nervous system regulation and offering classes and understanding so that we can get safe in our bodies, okay? Um, breath work. So exercising is really good for your mental body and, and um, releasing any of this lower energy. And um, use the time of you working out and breath work to really affirm confidence, fearlessness, um, your ability to be assertive, your ability to have faith in yourself, your ability to step out of your comfort zone. Maybe watching videos on what uh, the truth of what a comfort zone is. Because when I learned about what the truth of a comfort zone is, it's literally a death sentence. It's literally a coffin. Like, your comfort zone is the danger zone, to be honest. And when you rename your comfort zone the danger zone, you have even more get up and go about yourself to try new things and thinking new thoughts and establishing uh, better behaviors for the sake of better, more uplifting heart, heart happy experiences, you know? So breath work is here to support you, working out, exercising. But again, if you have anxiety, social anxiety in particular, um, look into four-part box breathing and EFT tapping. And you can do this any time of the day, five minutes, ten minutes, at the stop of the clock in your car, at the beginning of your day when you wake up, at the end of the day when you go to sleep, when you need to take a breather. You can literally take four deep belly breaths and that can be your breath work and that will alleviate your social anxiety, okay? Or the anxiousness because that means you're in fight or flight mode, okay? And you, you don't need to be in fight, flight, or fawn. You need to be regulated and present, all right? Because um, you are definitely ascending and, and, again, having a spiritual awakening right now. Going through another ascension portal at this time. Answer the call. Um, you could be getting woke up in the middle of the night. God could literally be just like, talk to me. I'm ready to talk to you. Or angels, ancestors, spirit guides, or those who have crossed over are supporting you in this work and understanding of yourself. And this new level of, it's time. You came here literally for this, the spiritual awaken. Evolution is the name of the game. We all grow at different rates, at different, pa at different paces, um, learning different lessons, but the level of help you have on the other side, let alone the level of understanding that you have and how you shine in your light and being in this new place of understanding not only repositions you, but repositions your family, your friends, any anyone in connection with you. You get what I'm saying? Like, go back to understanding that you really got the juice. Like, it's been in you this whole time. It ain't been on you. And this is literally something that you are wanting, I feel, Gemini. You are ready for... A new life experience so you are ready to spiritually awaken and that is dope okay congratulations welcome to the other side Clyde is lit in this bitch okay like now you could be like oh my god I, this is this like all those superhero powers that you thought were only for TV or things that are just for uh namesake it's real and we are really outside okay <laughs> yeah um, you have abundance literally loud and loud and clear so to go from lack mindset to literal abundance takes some work. And that lets me know, buddy, you ready to answer the call. You are ready to answer the call because this life of abundance, this life of spiritual understanding and knowing and that new level of security, like having security in man and in money is fleeting. It is not to have security within self with the capital S, the big you, the God mind you, that you really have the level of safeness that you are really aspiring for. You, so you are really aspiring to be secure in God and secure with the God in you and in you and God's relationship more than anything. And to be confident, to be present, to be free of anxiety, to be free of worry, and to be healthy in your body. That's what you want. That's what you deserve and that's what you desire. Step out of your comfort zone. Because somewhere, somehow, Gemini, you got comfortable in discomfort and really come on home 
to the truth of who you know yourself to be and understand that God isn't judging you. You are supported and you have what it takes. And what you are seeking is actively seeking you. Abundance vibrates on a very high vibration. A lack mindset is a very low vibration. You can't get from here to here without going through the middle and literally growing your mind, body, soul, and spirit, freeing it from limitations, old beliefs, thoughts, and experiences and traumas of the past to get there. That's called alchemy, turning base lead into gold. Alchemize is human experience, Gemini. I catch you on the next one. If you liked it, loved it, let me know. Let me know by putting some butterflies in the chat because y'all are really transforming and transitioning out here. And this Aquarius new moon is literally ascending you. It's an ascension portal. You are leveling up, okay? And you ask for it. You ask for it. Here you go. All right. I catch y'all on the flip side. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, love you.